What's going on guys? Uh, so I'm very close to my show here um, and we're gonna take a look at just some common food that I eat. Let's see. So it's it's kind of it's kind of empty. We got egg whites. I don't drink milk. Different shakers for different things. Pre-workout or something and a protein. Um, don't have a ton right now. Um, but here's like some sauces that I'll have up until kind of the end. Light Italian, something like that. You can't really go wrong as long as you're not just dousing it. Lemon juice. Um, I don't drink, I don't have ketchup. Light balsamic, you know. Um, so the, the light balsamic and Italian, those are good options if you're, you know, especially just trying to look pretty good. Worcestershire is good. Honey mustard. You really can't go wrong with mustard. I have sriracha all the time. Uh, buffalo sauce. You know, it's a bunch of sodium, but that's about it. Almond butter. No sugar added. And then this kind of stuff you kind of can't go wrong with either. 15 calories. You know, um, it has a little flavor to like oatmeal and uh, pancakes. If you're having like protein pancakes, you now you keep in mind, like, of course, you have to be really meticulous before a show, but otherwise, you don't have to be so crazy, and it's going to be much more sustainable for you. Very empty. We're doing a grocery run, oats. Oh, Quinoa, a bunch of supplements, um, superfood, in caged, different flavor in caged. Um, glutamine, pre workout. Creatine. Multivitamin. I uh, got the whey isolate. Um, Recaged protein recovery. Different flavor here too. Orange cream, never had it yet. So, you know, getting a few little sauces on there I think helps things. If you have like. Like I said, mustard, you can't really go wrong if you have like some good salsa. If it's like fresh avocado guac, that's a great way to just... For me, like the hardest part about um, really pre-contest dieting, where you're getting really meticulous, is just the dryness of it. Dry chicken and sweet potato or cod and quinoa and oats with really nothing on them. Uh, that's what... That's what's just kind of tough, and you don't really have to go there <laughs> to be in great shape. So I would add like some of those things. Um, you can put like stevia, cinnamon. I do another thing here. <laughs> um, usually I've got <sighs> some kind of like salt-free seasoning. These are good. These icon kind of helps. Um, I have cinnamon all the time on oatmeal, pepper or something if you want. Um, all these kind of like seasonings can't really go wrong as as long as there's not like too much salt in them. <coughs> Coconut oil, so that's a good thing. <coughs> Have a night, <laughs> but yeah. So it's all about giving it a little bit of flavor, and I'll often have like a. That's why I have a few different types of protein powder, just because it like satisfies a different craving. Like I have that ice lemon cake one. And that is really great. That's really delicious. And then I have like a latte one, um, a cinnamon one, you know, some some different types just to kind of like meet that need. And um, yeah, and so I always, you know, <clears throat> I recommend for everybody to be getting in a little bit of protein every few hours, and and to just kind of break it up into smaller meals so you're always always have protein in your system so